Hi, I'm Tom Clancy, Deputy Fire Chief of the Littleton Fire Department. And today what we want to talk to you about is how someone joins the Littleton Fire Department and give you a little bit of an overview about how our department operates and how, if you are interested, you could join the fire department. For instance, we had a lot of inquiries from people saying, hey, I'd like to get on the fire department. What's involved? To join the fire department, you need to be a male or female, 18 years of age, with a high school diploma or a GED. Next comes the interesting part. You, are, you will be required to, a, to go to the Massachusetts Fire Academy Call Volunteer Recruitment Program. This entails two nights per week and every Saturday for five months. However, at the end of it, you will have a certification level known as Level 1-2 Firefighter. This is a nationally recognized certification standard and you will have attained that. And that's now our minimum requirements to join the fire department. It's a huge time commitment for the person who'd like to join, but it's what's required and, and it's necessary for you to perform the job when you finish your call volunteer program. Hi, my name is Alan Sungos. I'm a full-time member of the Littleton Fire Department. I, too many years ago, was a member of the call department. For me, one of the eight goals was it was a lifelong dream to work in the fire service, and the call department provided that opportunity for me. Uh, at the same time, I have a college degree in environmental engineering and hazardous materials, and it allowed me to continue work with something I have a college degree in. At the same time, I was able to become a full-time member and get a chance to see these call members coming through now and it's fantastic to see these members uh, giving back to their community. Uh, the social aspect of it is great, the camaraderie is great and we get a chance to serve the community that many of us live and work in. So what else is involved in this? The question we get from many people that inquire about membership is how much is this going to cost me? Do I have to purchase the gear? Uh, do I have to pay to go to the Mass Fire Academy? And the true cost associated with it will be your time. As the years have progressed, the mission of the fire department has changed. Due to building code regulation changes and our own fire prevention uh, aggressive methods of making sure your homes are safe, we have fewer fires than we used to. But we also have a variety of other missions that we accomplish, let's say. For instance, emergency medical services. We provide emergency medical services to the entire town. Uh, we do hazardous material mitigation. We take care of uh, fire prevention, education in the schools, uh, auto ac accidents, and the injuries and cleanups associated with them. So our mission has changed immensely and therefore the training that's required to become a member of the Littleton Fire Department has changed along with it. Well, hello, my name is Alan Sungrist. I'm a full-time member of the Littleton Fire Department. I hear you're interested in joining the call department here for the Littleton Fire Department. Let me introduce you to a few of my friends. Lindsay Byrne, Hello. Sean Parlon. What's going on? And Steve Malone. <laughs> so, Lindsay, why did you join the fire department? Or how did you join the fire department? I started as an explorer in seventh grade because of some family friends, and I used to come to training before that for a couple of years to 
be a victim or to watch or help with whatever they needed. And ever since then, it's, I knew it was something I wanted to do as a career. So what do you like best about being on the fire department? Um, well, I like being able to help people, and I know everyone always says that it's something they want to do when they work for a fire department, but that became a reality a couple weeks ago when I was working with the full-time staff. I had the opportunity to help a woman who had gone into cardiac arrest, and we ended up saving her. I also like how everyone here is friends and that it's just a fun place to be, even if you're not going on a call, just come down and hang out with everyone. And who was the person you actually did the cardiac arrest call with? Mr. Allen Sundquist <laughs> and Mr. Michael. <laughs>
uh, operations, pretty much anything you would need to do the job efficiently. Just then, uh, what's your involvement? What's it been like? You know, now that you went through the Explorers, the call program, now you're on the you've been on the fire department for a little bit. What's it? Uh, what, you know, what's it been like since you've been on the fire department? It's been great, actually. It's a lot of fun. You learn new stuff every day. No calls the same, and it's it's a family around here, and we have fun. We we're serious, but it's something that I've never done before, and it's awesome. Excellent. And uh, you know, has being on the fire department affected you, you know, personally? You know, and, you know, improved the quality of you know your your personal life, your work life, anything like that? Uh, yeah, I work with people all the time. I work at Neshoba Valley ski area. So I'm always talking to people, talking to customers. Working here, I work around the town, so I get to know people, be more friendly with, friendly with them, be more open. I was always used to be like kind of quiet and just sit back, but now I can openly go out and talk to people. And you know, just being in this fire station, uh, there's nothing new to you. Um, you know, I know your dad, uh, you know, personally, we call him Lethal Larry now that he's retired, but he was a firefighter for many years. He started here in Littleton, but he went to the city of Nashua for a pretty long career. So, you know, what's it like now being able to, you know, kind of talk shop with your dad? It's awesome because um, he gets things. If I have questions, I can always go to him. He's got answers. He's been there. He's seen it. I think he had like 30 years up in Nashua. Um, yeah, it's... It's nice because he understands everything that I'm going through. He understands going through all the training, all the uh, struggles, and he understands what it's like to be a new guy and be so excited about everything. So the, the process is the pager goes off when we're taping this stuff, and then my cameraman and my big Swede have to go. My name is Remy Serpernant. I'm a firefighter EMT with the Wilson Fire Department. How did you get involved with the Wilson Fire Department? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, when I was 14, I was in the Boy Scouts and they asked me, why are you here? And I said, only until I can become an explorer. And so when I was uh, 16, I started the program with my father and I got a bunch of my friends from high school and middle school and we uh, all started the program. And you know, five, six years later, I'm here. What do you like most working as a firefighter? Uh, I like being able to reach out to the public. I like helping people. So, I mean, the the reason I became a firefighter is to help people, and it's just a good call. What, being a firefighter, how has that improved your personal life or uh, full-time job? Uh, well, I work at Donnellan's Supermarket, and so being a firefighter actually translates really well because I help with the uh, Know, customer service end which is basically just talking to people so that helped me here and this helps me there uh, what do you like most about the fire department i don't know i like everything i grew up here so it's hard not to like just the atmosphere i come down here and learn <laughs> <laughs>